what's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my youtube channel today i'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of connecting issue or error you're currently having with battle.net so stick to the end guys this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue before we start right into the video i just want to you guys know or let you guys know that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right into my youtube channel it would really make my day and help me out as a little youtuber as i am Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys. You would support my work on YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say let's get right started. So the first step is gonna be to take your keyboard. You're gonna click the Windows and the R key on your keyboard at the same time. And afterwards, I want you to type in CMD and hit enter. Once you did that, I want you to type in what I'm gonna type in. So IP config space slash flush dns and hit enter oh i'm sorry i think that i typed it in wrong flush dns so now it's, it's right successfully flushed and once you see that you should be able to end this task and never get to the bottom left corner of your screen where you're going to click onto the window symbol and open up your settings heading right onto network and internet and going down to Network Troubleshooter, where you're going to use your Windows in order to find any kind of issue you could currently have. And if nothing pops up, it's good for you. If something pops up, simply hit Network and Sharing Center. Navigate to the top left corner. Click onto the second link where it says Change Adapter Settings. Hit the Ethernet or Internet logo. So it just depends on which one you're currently using. Right click, Disable. Once it is disabled, wait a few seconds and enable it again. The enabling process could take quite a few moments, so wait patiently until it's connected again. And once it is connected, you should be able to return back to your network and sharing center by just simply ending this task. So let's wait a little bit. Now return back and hit Ethernet or Internet to so the blueprint attacks. It, would, it currently just depends on which one you're currently using. So just click on that. Click on the properties. Hit Internet Protocol version 4. And now you need to enable use the following DNS server addresses where you're going to click onto or use on the preferred DNS server, the Google DNS server address by just simply Googling it. There are four slots or four times eight and the bottom alternate DNS server, I want you to type in two times four and two times eight or again, Google it for your Google DNS server address. Once you've finished, hit OK and apply. And yeah, guys, that's it for the video. I hope that I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment, or a subscription. I'm going to really be thankful for that. And yeah, guys, I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just going to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one, and bye.